Hi everyone, this is Amanda. Um, thank you for tuning into my channel today. And I have some some really new goodies here from Michaels. Um, I heard that they had the Bible journaling, a new line from um, American Crafts at Michaels. And when I saw it online, and it was only in Canada at the time, and I'm like, okay, I've got to find this stuff. So um, through the powers of the internet, I found it, and I have it here to show you some items. And this is brand new, and um, I think some Michaels are starting to get it, but I don't know how many. So let's dig in, and I'll show you what I got. I'm just really excited. So... First of all, they have these whole set of stamps, and I tried to get a little bit of everything that I could, but I'm sure that what I had available is not everything that's out there, um, so there's probably more available than even what I'm showing here. So, here we have um, these rubber stamps, um, polymer, uh, is it what, photopolymer, something, whatever they're called. Um, it says, God is with us. The truth will set you free. Amazing grace, praise, rejoice, peace be with you and miracles. That's on this stamp set. And then this one is choose joy. He will be our peace. Always be joyful. Give thanks to the Lord. Hold on to hope and then some hearts. And then the last one I got is trust in the Lord with all your heart. I love this one. Everlasting love, he restores my soul. Be still and know that know I am with you. I know this as be still and know that I am God, but I like that one too. Um, uh, I can't really read this. Something is the Lord. Anchor maybe in the Lord. I can't read it. And be strong and take heart. So these are six. I think these were $4.99 a pack. But when I bought everything, I got 40% off everything. So, um, because they were on sale online. So if you go to Michael's um, online, they may still have this stuff. And who knows, they may have gotten new stuff as well. So that's what these are, I believe. I think they were $4.99 or $5.99, and then I got 40% off. It's such a good deal. Um, and then here are some stencils, and you can see how they use the stencils a little bit here. Um, let's open, oh, I was going to open them. I did look at them. They're a little on the flimsy side, and I will show you what I mean. It's, um, so I think you have to be really careful if you use these because I think one of them was already broken when I opened it. This one here, see? So I don't think these are the best quality, but um, all of these, I think there were six of them, were $4.99 minus 40% off. That one is probably the best one because it has, um, let me see if I can just have something that I don't know if that's any better. No, you can't really see them in the picture. So I'll go back here. But you have the cross with all the, like, it looks like stained glass. Today's blessings and today's prayers, which you can write on if you put these in, like, um, a daily journal or in your Fobonichi or your Hobonichi or your art journal. Those would be really cute there, as well as your Bible journal. Um, faith and some different things. Praise the Lord. Okay, now I get it. Duh. Oh, it's the same here. Praise the Lord. Prayers. Amen. Rejoice. So the little words here. And then be, be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong. And that's from Corinthians. So these all were, I think, $4.99 minus 40% off. And if I'm wrong on the prices, I apologize. But nothing was like exorbitantly expensive that I remember, except maybe this thing here. Um, the next thing are is this little package of stamp pads or ink pads. I don't know the quality of these, but it's American Crafts, so I'm expecting great things. But they are supposed to be good for your Bible journal. So maybe if somebody has used these already, you can let me know how they are. I haven't opened them yet. Um, and so let's go to... 
the rub-ons. It has lots of different rub-ons. I tried to get just, there was several that looked like in color and then maybe one or two like this. And I tried to just get a sampling because I wanted to try them out. I'm not very good with rub-ons, but I thought maybe on a Bible page, they might adhere to it a little bit easier because a Bible page is typically thinner paper. And so I thought maybe the rub-on would go better on the Bible page. Um, Hope is an anchor for my soul. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Um, joy and gladness and then count your blessings. So, and then it comes with the little stick and they show how, um, they did that in the margin there of their Bible. This one is different words like count your blessings, choose joy, pray more, worry less, have faith, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Um, beyond blessed, the Lord is my shepherd. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Praise his name. And then a cross here. And again, it comes with this and they show you. How to do the rub on there and um, again these are all around $4.99 $3.99 $4.99 not sure um, the next thing I will show you are the highlighters and I'm actually going to open a package here because I'm so curious about them these um, they had like six different kinds and to be honest with you I didn't know that I got this many I thought I only had two but apparently when I refreshed my cart, I still had an extra one. So um, this, I wanted to open them up and just see what they look like to compare them to normal highlighters. I've had several different highlighters for Bibles and you know how they'll bleed through the page. And then I've tried the like pencil highlighters um, and I find that they're, sometimes they're not strong enough. So I was really curious as to what these were like. I don't know how these come off. Okay. It looks a little bit like a crayon on this end. Let me see if it opens on both ends. Or maybe that's just what makes it go up and down. Let's see. Because there's something here on the end. But it... Okay, there. It's moving. Okay, so that makes it move up and down. So I'm just going to take a piece of paper... I know it's not a Bible, but let's just see what it looks like. So, okay, so let's, you want to do the finger test? Smears. I don't know how that would do highlighting or how much long, how long you have to let it sit before it doesn't bleed but just be aware that it looks like it does bleed so that might um deter you a little bit it's highlighter acid free non-toxic for bible journeying it has b i think that's bold maybe um let's see in the back what it says broad point acid free non-toxic and it doesn't really say anything else. So um, I would just be aware. Maybe it's just that the gold is really strong. I guess I could try the pink. Let's try the pink. Why not? All right, that one looks a little bit better. That's what the cramp, what it looks like when it's done writing. Can't really see it, but. And that one's not too bad. So I think that one, maybe it's just the gold, but it is pretty after it dries though. That's really pretty. All right. Well, I got these three colors, which were, um, I want to see something. Cause these say believe at the top. And these say believe, but this one says rejoice at the top. So I don't know if that means anything different. And these were, I don't know, $4.99, $5.99, same. And these are like neutral colors. It looks like a white, a brown, and a gray. And then these are your traditional colors of the green, the blue, and the pink. And then I don't know what these are called, but I thought these were pretty. I like the silver and the gold. 
Okay, so that is the hot, that's the highlighters. They did have more of those. Um, next we come to um, these Bible journaling markers. Now, um, I have not had any American Crafts markers, so I do not know what to expect. And these say brush and fine point. I'm assuming they're like any other marker, but why, what makes them different for Bible journaling, I do not know. So just keep that in mind that maybe it's not any different than your other markers. I really can't tell you. Except that they put Bible journaling on them. Um, this is a fine point and a bold point. We've got our paper pad here, so why not just go ahead and try this again? Um, I got the bright colors, purple, pink, orange, and blue. They had um, three or four different kinds. So, let's see. Let's do Amanda again. It's nice. That's a nice brush marker. And let's look at... I do like the way these write. This is really nice. So I do like them. I just don't know what makes them special for Bible journaling or if they're the same as a regular um, American Crafts marker. That I can't tell you. And then these are by American Crafts. And these are a different set of markers with um, the pastel colors. And... I love American Crafts markers. These here, I don't even have to open because, again, what makes them perfect for Bible journaling, I don't know. I just know that I buy these a lot. Um, they mark really well in my planners. So, like, you can see, you know, there's some tape, but you can see I already have some, and that's why I got these is because even though... I don't know if they're good for Bible journaling. I know that I like them for my planner and they're very fine point. This is like a point one and point three. And I'm not sure if this, this one, I can't read whether it's a point. I would assume it's a point five, oh five. So yep. Oh one, oh three, oh five. And I really like these. So, um, that's why I went ahead and got those. I know already, I, I knew already I like this. And that's leading into why I got these is because they look like the same type. And um, the colors looked perfect for Bible journaling because they're light colors. And I don't think I'd have to worry about them um, bleeding through. Okay, so they're very faint. Okay, so that is very, very faint. I don't know what, I don't know if that would even go through. Because if you're with, um, in a Bible, I don't know that you want really fine point. I prefer more of a ballpoint for a Bible journaling. Like maybe these markers uh, would be better. Because um, these are like .03, which I like for my other writing. But in a Bible, I don't know that I would like that too much. Let's Maybe it's just the blue one that's really, you know what I'm saying? Because when you're doing Bible journaling or when you're um, writing in your Bible, the pages are thinner, like I was saying, or at least in my Bible, I'm sure there's different kinds. In mine, the pages are a lot thinner that if I had this fine point pen, you know, it would, I don't, can you see how, can you see that at all? I don't know that it wouldn't like punch through my pages. So I'm a little iffy on those, but I will use them because I like, I like American crafts pens, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So the next thing I am so excited to see are, um, these deco pens. I don't know if you've used the deco pens. Um, they're like rub-ons before I've gotten them from Japan and different things and they'll have all different kinds of patterns. I love them and they're refillable so like this is a refill to go in here and down at the bottom it says what these are like this is prayer note and the hearts um, beautiful in its name Jesus 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 this one is never gives up in 1st Corinthians 13 13 10 it looks like and then um, this one is the fish 
and then praise him, believe, and have. So why not go ahead and open one of these up and I'll show you how to you how the deco tape works. So um usually you just there's the refill. Usually you just click it down like that. See? It's just like a clicker pen and we'll hand pull out this again. And you just it's kind of like um white out tape. Um, you just run it along like this and it makes little words um, like this one he has made everything beautiful in its time and I just love these and they will usually they'll just pop right out they'll see it just pops right out you can pop the next one in depending on how it goes in watch let me can I do it Oh, maybe I have it backwards. Nope. Can't have it. Oh, let's see. Okay, it's not as easy to change as the other ones are that I've had before from Japan. The deco tapes that I've had before are a little bit easier. Like, I can't get this one to go in. Well, that is just lovely. It's broken. Good lord. So... Okay, well, there you go again. It is... Look, let me see if I can get the original back in there. I've never had them do this before. This is crazy. Okay, so this one may be going back to Michael's. I'll try the other ones too, but I am going to set this aside because... Okay, even if it was four ninety nine and I got forty percent off, I'm taking it back because it should not do that. You know what I mean? Okay. Well anyway, that's how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to just right along here and you can't really get it when your hand, but that's what it's supposed to do. That's a bust. Sorry about that. I do love them though. I've just never had them not work like that before. And I wish I had some available to show you the Japanese kind and how they're supposed to work. Here you go. I got one. Um, this is the kind I'm normally used to. They come out like this and this one has like the Eiffel Tower on it. So that's what I'm used to with the deco pens. And then for these, you just um, unhook them just like the others. And they pop right in and out. I've never had them not work before. They just, because they just click on and off. So I am a little concerned about that. If I open another one and it doesn't work to refill it, I'll take them all back. But if not, I'll just take the one back. But I love them. They're, I just love them. All right. So the last thing I got is this um, Bible journaling kind of like a pen case and it says hallelujah here and this says peace hold on i'll open it for you peace love and happiness i love the colors i usually everything i buy i usually try to find something i love about it but Sometimes it's not always possible, but I do like this. It's the pen case. It says peace, love, happiness. It has the zip around the edges and it's a canvas material. Zipper is gold and then it opens up like this. Okay. So we have a little ruler here. I guess if you want to um, make sure you're writing in lines, there's a, um, you know, correctly. Um, there's a couple highlighters here, very similar in style to the ones I purchased, but there's no writing on the edges or anything. Um, this is just your traditional yellow. I like that. And then I guess this little pouch is to take with you if you're going to church or something, or if you're just working on your Bible journal. Let's try the pink. I do like these a lot. I think you they have to dry those some. Because if you can see that, it's kind of shiny. 
think they will have to dry dry okay um and then i'll get to that in just a minute but there's other markers here and um like crayons um to color with so let's try why not we've been testing everything else test um just a regular marker nothing unusual about it i can't get the cap back on but there we go and let's try one of these this is going to be that i have some other ones like this only a different brand and these are like crayons um, I would say it's probably almost like a mix between a crayon and a colored pencil because it almost looks like more a colored pencil. Um, and then I think you can pull it back down before you stick it in here. Then get it back in here. All right. All right. That's just a hassle. All right. So now on this flap they have some journaling card i i don't know if i'd call them journaling cards but like little faith reminders and things they're just little things you could they're um plastic a thin plastic but you could keep them anywhere this one says the truth will set you free um the lord is my shepherd this one is a floral heart with faith love joy peace these are nice. You can tuck them in your side of your planner too. God with us. That's what I think I would do. I think they might be a little smaller than a credit card. Um, if they are, no, they're about the same size. I was going to say if they are, it's very small. Jesus Christ, my savior. And then this is just a cardboard piece that shows all the different kinds that were, that came in the box or in the package. So this is everything you get in the planner. I honestly didn't think I got anything in it. It was $29.99. I think with 40% off, it was $17.99. Um, here's my review of these products. I love American Crafts. Um, I love a lot about them, but some of the things on the Bible journaling line, I think, um, I don't think they're the best quality. I mean, they're just, they don't, I don't think they put into practical application into it. You know, like, like the fact that to open up a marker, you have to really, like, I had to really pull and really push that back in really hard to get these open. Um, and, you know, I, I want to give my honest review. I, I don't want to tell you, oh, you see this and you go out and buy it because you think it's the greatest thing. So I want to be honest with you and tell you if I like it or if I don't. I try to find good things and point things out, but I will tell you if it's not up to par two. Um, I think the case is worth it. Um, I love all the things in it. They're just fine. I just don't know if it was worth $29.99, so I'm glad I got um, a coupon or I mean the 40% off everything. Um, and plus I think there are other products out there that are better for the same amount of money. I'm 50-50, okay? I'm overjoyed that they have the Bible journaling stuff. I was so thrilled to get it. Not quite so thrilled with the quality. There you have it. Um, so some things I love, some things I didn't love. So anyway, I hope maybe this was beneficial with you before you go out and buy everything. Maybe you might, it, this might help you pick and choose what you might like. Like typically I love these, but if they're going to break, don't buy it. Um, so anyway, thanks a lot guys. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.